Well, I never knew you to be a day drinker, Dean. <laughs> so, you want a poll? No, thanks, my friend. I really don't need it anymore. So, Dean, is there something wrong? Wrong? I think I'm completely losing my shit now. Why is that, Dean? Why is that? Maybe because I'm sitting here talking to a guy who's been dead for the last year and a half. Well, Dean, tell me how things have been going. You're kidding me, right? Hello, Dalton. Hi. Are you here for your first session? Uh, yes. All right. Dean, whoa, slow down, mm -hmm. Dean. I'm here, man. Let's talk. It's been a while. Talk. You want to talk? Now I've completely lost my shit. Dean, I'm here. Since you want to chat, do you know your daughter's being really difficult? Yes, I have, I know. She is trying to tear down everything I built, everything that I was. Well, she has a different mindset. Yeah, no kidding. Why couldn't you have hugged her more as a kid or maybe played Barbies with her more? She's exactly what you need. Um. My mom told me I need to pay for these things. Mm hmm Five sessions, right? Uh, yep. Okay. That was the deal. Yeah. Uh, I can just pay for all of this now. Um, how, how much is it? Yeah, I'll give you a good deal. 35 a session. That's mm. a total of 175 Yippee. <laughs> what I need, let me tell you, what I need was for you to turn my theater back to me two years after my last divorce, like we agreed. Yes, that was the plan until you had to see the tax man. Oh, well, and whether you like it or not, I did what I had to to protect it. Protect it? By taking my sanctuary, my theater, and giving it to that thankless daughter of yours? Wow, thank you so much, Charles. That way, your sanctuary was safe from all of your self-indulgent and destructive behavior. <laughs> Come on, Charles. There's nothing wrong with recreational sex. <laughs> and, you know, I seem to remember you took quite a few turns with some of the wannabes in my classes. <laughs> you know, what's the matter? You don't get erections anymore in the afterlife? There you go. I'll print you out one on the computer, and when you come back, I'll give it to you. You know, I, I could just pay for this, right? And then and maybe in a couple weeks, you could just tell my mom I did all this, and then that way neither of us would actually have to Go through all this BS. Dalton, honey, you know I can't do that. I, uh, I figured you might say that. Uh, okay, 175, yeah. Okay, sessions are on the house. What? Why? Because you need to do this. Dean. You need to crawl out of that hole you call the 90s. Great time. Yeah, well, what is it you're still trying to prove? <coughs> prove? I'm not trying to prove anything. I was the shit. I, I am the shit. Should I go in with you? No. Why? For support. Uh, okay. In case things get intense. Uh-huh. Uh, I promise you, I probably won't be saying much. No, you need to tell him who you are. No. He needs to know. He really Absolutely should not. know. No, no, you promised my mom you wouldn't say a word. This is something for me to deal with. If and when, if ever, I, I want to. I, I mean, seriously, this is something I, I've lived 20 years without addressing. I'm sure I could go another 20 if I wanted to. Yeah, I know you can't. Gabby, if I you can't keep I... your word, then I'm leaving and I'm never coming back. I put my daughter Gabby in place 
to see that your vices don't take away the last most important thing in your life. That is your legacy and your career. I took care of that for you in my will. That way she can't kick you out. Yeah, that was really clever. But you know what she wants to do now? She keeps threatening to sell the place. And if she does, I can't stop her. She's not going to sell anything. Mm -hmm. As long as you start doing what made you great. Yeah. Hmm. Don't bring old memories back to life. Forge a new way. Yeah. It's a much different time now, Charles. But Char... Charles? You know what? This was always my home. This was always my place. And you know what? I'm suing her to get my theater back. All right, OK. You got it. I won't say anything. I mean it. I know. I'm here for you, okay? If you need it, I'm here for you. For support. Why are you doing this? Because I don't have my dad anymore. You still have yours. Thank you. Wish me luck. <laughs> Damn it, Dean. Better not mess this up for him. Why is it every time I look up, I'm seeing you? What are you doing here? My mom signed me up for five more sessions, Dean. So your mom sent you back in here to pick up where she left off. <laughs> Aren't you a little big to still be up under her skirt? Uh, no. <laughs> That's not it at all, actually. You have a nice nap? So how long have you been sitting there? About 40 minutes. Great, our first session's done. Mm, not quite. <laughs> They're hour long sessions, dude. Fucking Gabby. So, <sighs> what am I supposed to say at these kind of things? I really don't care if you say anything. Mm, come on, Dean. Don't you wanna teach me how to live in a make-believe world while I refuse to deal with my own reality? Are you on some type of medication? Because that would really explain a lot. And for your information, I teach my students the craft of acting. Hmm. Craft of acting. Oh, I get it. You, uh, you teach people to hide from who they are while becoming faker. No. I teach my students how to recreate life in a real, present, and honest manner. You know what it's like to be present and honest? <laughs> I know more about the human condition than you put together. <laughs> See, that's, a, that's funny, because from where I'm sitting, it looks like you have no idea how to read people or relate to them in any appropriate manner. Listen to me, you little woke, used up tampon wrapper. I didn't learn how to relate to people from social media. I've interacted with people my whole life. And we didn't hide behind pussy language. We just talked to each other. We just told each other how it was. We weren't afraid to use certain words or have strong opinions. Mm. Riveting. Well, uh, just so you know, you're not some old school man's man. In fact, you're kind of just a drunk asshole who can't figure out how to live in his current time. You figured it all out, have you? 
In your 20 years of living in your parents' basement, you got it all down, huh? All before you go off to your part-time shift at Taco Bell. You know, at least I don't fall asleep with a bottle at my feet. When I take a drink, it's because I've earned it. But you know enough about me. Let's hear your story. Are you still mad at mommy and daddy for not giving you a car when you got your GED? Actually, I don't have any issues with my mom or my stepdad, Doug. Stepdad? That sounds like an issue. Mm, nope. <laughs> Wonderful. So, is there anything else you want to get off your chest? Any more little observations you want to make? Um... Oh, would you look at that? That's our first session. Wow. <sighs> you know, there probably is something I should tell you, Dean. Yeah? What's on your mind, sport? <laughs> Actually, um, never mind.